Welcome to the New England Crypto YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving back into the wild world of open source Bitcoin mining with a showdown you won't want to miss. The brand new NerdQX++ versus the trusty Bitax Gamma. Let's break down these awesome machines so you can decide which one might just be your ticket to Bitcoin glory. And stick around to the end for a pro tip to supercharge your mining setup. Let's get started. First up, let's meet the star of the show, the Nerd QX++. This bad boy is the latest evolution in open source Bitcoin mining. Built by the brilliant minds in the Open Source Miners United community, the primary design of the Nerd QX++ is Thomas, oh, I'm going to butcher this, Shups. S H U F P S, also known as at P M A X S D on Twitter or X. He is a key figure in the open source mining community, contributing to the development of both QX and the Nerd QX. His work is deeply rooted in the ethos of collaboration and transparency within the Open Source Miners United Collective. Picture this, four BM1370 ASIC chips from the Antminer S21 Pro. Pumping out a jaw-dropping 4.8 terahashes per second. That's almost 5 terahash, folks. And it does all of that while sipping just 76 watts of power, hitting an insane efficiency of 15.8 joules per terahash. But it's not just about power. This thing's got style. Check out this full-color LilyGo display screen showing your hash rate, Bitcoin price, and temps in real time. It's like having a mini mining dashboard right on your desk. Plus, it's plug-and-play with Wi-Fi built right in and runs on a custom operating system for easy control. And a huge shout-out to Power Mining for sending us this miner to test and review after seeing our recent viral TikTok that has well over 1 million views. I never thought I'd be making TikTok videos or posting on TikTok at all, but here we are. So if you're on there, make sure you check us out. Product links and discount codes will be down in the description below for anyone that's interested. No pressure from us, but if you were gonna get one anyway, it's a very easy way to support our channel. Thank you. Now let's give some love to the Bitax Gamma, a fan favorite in the at-home Bitcoin mining scene. This little champ rocks a single BM1370 chip. Yup, that's the same family as the Nerd QX++, and it delivers a solid 1.2 terahashes. It's super efficient too, pulling just 15 watts for a stellar 12.5 joules per terahash efficiency rating. It's compact, Wi-Fi ready, and runs on the awesome AxOS operating system. It's been a go-to for hobbyists, and serious solo miners who want to dip their toes into Bitcoin mining without breaking the bank. This miner has proven itself by finding blocks in 2024 and 2025. Talk about a legacy. It's the classic contender that still got game. All right, time for the main event. The brand new, super powerful Nerd QX++ versus the OG, old trusty Bitax Gamma. Let's break it down. The Nerd QX++ flexes on us with 4.8 terahashes per second. That's four times the 1.2 terahashes of the Bitax Gamma. If you're chasing raw power, the Nerd QX++ is your beast. When it comes to efficiency and power, the Bitax Gamma edges out slightly with 12.5 joules per terahash versus the Nerd QX++ 15.8 joules per terahash but it uses just 15 watts compared to the Nerd QX's 76 watts. So the Gamma is your pick for low energy bills, while the Nerd QX++ balances efficiency with serious output. When it comes to features, the Nerd QX++ steals the show with its vibrant display and sleek design. Perfect for monitoring and style. 
The Bidax Gamma keeps it simple with its nice little screen, but is just as easy to set up via Wi-Fi. Both are user-friendly, but the Nerd QX++ feels like a huge tech upgrade. Just look at the size of this thing. Awesome. Price and value. The Bidax Gamma is more budget-friendly, typically around $150 to $200, while the Nerd QX++ clocks in higher. Think $500 to $600, depending on where you snag it. You're paying for power and pizzazz with this one. But the GIM is a steal for what it delivers. So who's the champ? It depends on your vibe. Let's figure that out next. All right, let's match these miners to you. If you're a beginner or a hobbyist just starting out, the Bidax Gamma is your perfect sidekick. Affordable, efficient, and a great way to learn the ropes. Want to solo mine on a budget? This is it. But if you're a serious miner or a tech lover in general ready to level up, the Nerd QX++ is calling your name. That almost 5 terahash of hashing power and the flashy display make it ideal for scaling up or showing off your setup. Yes, it's pricier, but you're investing in the future of Bitcoin mining. Both miners are heroes in their own right, supporting Bitcoin's decentralization by putting the power back in your hands, not some megacorps. Whether you pick the Gamma or the Nerd QX++, you are part of the open source revolution. So there you have it. The Nerd QX++ brings the heat with power and flair, while the Bitax Gamma keeps it cool and classic. My winner? The Nerd QX++ for its next level performance, but honestly, you can't go wrong with either one. And here's your bonus tip. Tweak your miner's frequency settings inside of the operating system. Try bumping the Nerd QX++ up to 600 megahertz, or the Gamma to 550 megahertz for a hash rate boost. Test it out. Make sure to keep an eye on those temps and watch those stats climb. The Nerd QX++ isn't just a miner. It's a statement. Mining should be powerful, efficient, and accessible to everyone. How cool is that? So what do you think? Team Nerd QX++ or Team Bidax Gamma? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop your pick in the comments, smash that like button and or subscribe on the way out, until next time, keep mining, stay awesome, I'll see you on the next one.